Today I want to introduce to you a new piece of software from Omron called Factory Drive Recorder. This will be available from an office near you very, very soon. Uh, this software records events that can happen on a production line. So it can basically, on an event, it can show you in video format uh, five minutes before and up to five minutes after of what's actually happened on your production line. So today you'll see a demonstration of a camera system failing and then we're just playing back some video before the event occurred and after. Also there's different modes for detecting master images and also motion detection. The system itself can have up to eight cameras connected. They can be USB 3 or GIGI available from Omron, um, connected to the IPC. The system's triggered via a PLC using a TCP command or also you can have external devices that you can see here triggering the system. So if we take a look at the software itself, we have a history tab, um, we have a help tab, and we also have a settings tab. So in here you can see the number of cameras connected to the system. So that's one to eight. Uh, we can set the exposure time and we can also set the frames per second. On the manual recording tab, we can set the number of days we want to record and how long for each day and to split the files. And then we take a look at the trigger. We can set a time trigger, what part of the day do we want to, you know, hour, minute of the day do we want to record for, the motion detection, uh, the master image, and also our trigger signal. So this is the one we're gonna to use today. So we're gonna trigger one camera. Uh, we now can say where we're going to save all the data to, so the videos and any images. And finally, the external I.O., which is going to be the IP address and the port number we're going to send the commands to. So if we save those settings, we go back to the home screen. And basically what you'll see at the minute is a record button, which we have to press to put the system into record mode. And then on the right hand side, you'll say that it's saying preparing to record. Once that's in shooting mode, the system's ready to go and it's waiting for our trigger to happen. So what we're going to do now is trigger our vision system that's inspecting these SD cards. So at the minute, our operator's being very good. He's putting the parts in the right way around and we're passing. So nothing is being recorded by the software at the minute. Um, if the operator is to put the part in the wrong way around, we will reject the part, as can be seen now. So we've now got a failure. And what will happen is the, we've got now a screenshot of the software and you can see that at the minute it's saying shooting, when it receives a trigger, you can see the status has changed here. Um, and now it's basically triggered the system to make the video that we need um, to see. If we now stop the recording, and take a look at the history, you can see here, it's displaying all the files that is recorded within the system. So the top left view, you've got the live image or video that's going on. You can maximize it. You can flip to the next video as well, if need be, to see what was recorded on that event. And then go back again, you can move the video around as you would it, because it's using Windows Media Player. So that's just a short demo of this new piece of software. Thanks for watching.